Uh, yeah, the James E. Cross. Mm, 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 mm. James E. Cross Award. If memory uh, serves me correct, I... James E. Cross was here the first year camp was founded, legend has it. His arms were as large as tree trunks, uh, and he had several other inhuman uh, sized uh, body parts and uh, well uh, anyway uh, it was designed originally he was the first recipient and it was named forevermore after him hello there i'm cornelius f belkin age 15 origin wisconsin maine i'm running for the james e cross award because i feel that i have the true qualities needed in order to win this award not only am I good at soccer, but I like to throw things into ponds, and I like to have fun in ponds. Vote for me. My father, Lawrence Longmore Sr., won the James E. Cross 40 years ago, 1963, mind you. And when he was brutally killed 22 years ago in a gardening accident, which I will not explain further. Uh, yes, Lawrence Langmore, uh, of course. He, I believe, uh, mm, 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 mm. I wake up this morning, I got five reporters down my back asking me what I'm doing. So I tell them, well, I'm brushing my teeth, I'm taking a shower, and I'm winning the cup, baby! Yeah, I'm just getting pumped up, you know? Long day ahead of me, got to research and stuff. And it's intense up there. I mean, I got a campaign. I gotta do so much stuff. Yes. Fierce competitors. Let's get busy. But, I mean, do my research. Got a campaign. That's what it's all about, you know? Uh, uh, going on, they ended up using the James E. Cross camp. Hawthorne was asked to uh, recruit leadership for the Great War, uh, looking for generals and admirals of the such. Uh, if I remember, oh, some reasons. Uh, ah, the great outdoors. Exercising is one of my greatest greatest achievements uh, that I've ever, you know, yeah. Anyway, little Johnny, <laughs> go and get another one. <laughs> uh, let's see. I eat 15 Twinkies a day. A, uh, I have little Johnny do my exercise in here for me. Don't really know what exercising means. Don't really get it, you know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> see, uh, we have this genetically enhanced fluid that takes the energy from him and puts it in me. And um, we've just been using that regularly. He just keeps on running like a little hamster there. Little hamster, hamster, hamster. Hamster and a trampster. What do you know, four feet? Hey boys, I'm here to help out. Huh? Oh, I'm mad at you. Did you gave me an ugly face earlier when I told you to get a broom out of the bathroom. Uh, for... Get out of here! You're scoring at the stage! You know what? Where's the salt? Where's the salt? I'm just here to help. Ah. Some, some reasons that uh, they, they've come up with in the past for the, for the James E. Cross Award in, uh, 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 in 1982. Uh, a gentleman named David Bechtel, uh received the James A. Cross for killing a bear with his bare hands. I believe the bear was into the pantry, getting into the bog juice, getting into other such such of the like. And in 85, the following year, uh, Derek Finkelman uh, got it during Color Wars, which is played during the general camp. Uh, an underwater plunge where a, a child does the breaststroke underneath water without coming up from air. I believe he made it to the other side of the lake. And for such a feat, received the James E. Cross. 
Uh, oh my god, you were right Hi, I know you. Hi. Some? I know you. Hi. Sorry. I have a so, uh, okay. Take some. Sorry, okay. Today, uh, the James E. Cross Award, it, uh, it was discussed whether it should continue to be used and uh, we've decided that there's been no single event uh, that a camper uh, uh, performed that would lead and merit such such accolades uh, as you were as the James E. Cross. Uh, we knowing the people is really important to me. Is this, is this, can I just get some? No, this is this is really good nutrition. You can eat this if you want. How many do you have? Is this the last one? Um, I have a couple in the back, but these are nice and fresh. Yes, it's really it's hard to find. Um, we get these back in the woods. We go. I can never find them. Oh really? Yes. I, but I, my, I couldn't take your last. This is my friend. Her name is George. Natasha. Yeah. Natasha. Natasha. Thank you. Would you like some? My father is a great gardener. Gardening every day of his life. Try to keep this up, yeah? You know? Got these nice rocks. Got the rocks. Yeah. There we go. You know, just trying to keep it up here. Get some nutrients in the soil. Really ripen it up. I'm growing it for the banquet, so I hope it'll be grand. Yeah. Lawrence Langmore, 1963, received the James E. Cross. Uh, you, something to do with, yes, of course, a gardener. Uh, a dedicated and tireless gardener. Uh, for four years, uh, used, uh, added, uh, created gardens at Camp Hawthorne, uh, maintained gardens at Camp Hawthorne until, uh, Unfortunately, uh, he, he passed away uh, 22 years ago in a, uh, a tragic gardening accident. Uh, I, the details of this, I, I really care not to get into. Today's a great day. It's a great day to swim across this here lake. Plan to reenact one of the James E. Cross Award winners. One breath, one breath across this whole lake. I plan to swim underwater. It's not only for myself, but it's for the people, because I believe in them. Didn't go quite as planned. In 1986, there was a Chris Murphy. Uh, I believe there was a great fire that year, a couple of years in a row of natural disaster. Uh, Chris Murphy went inside a burning bunk and carried members out, little children, little vulnerable children. All right, so here's my plan. These little jolly kitties think I'm a nice little English lad. But what I'm going to do is light this goddamn building on fire and then save the little kitties, so then they'll think I'm the hero. Mwahaha! I love this fun, it's so much fun. <laughs> we, we continue to look for such action, but uh, it, it, it's, not, it's not happening per se. Uh, kids today uh, listening to rap music and whatnot, uh, 
care to do more harm than good, as it would seem. Uh, it's not it's, it's not exactly the great generation, I think you'd agree with me. Uh, not exactly any brave hearts or William Wallace's uh, around these days. Uh, for other reasons uh, we can't get into. Little boy, little boy. Take this five dollars, come with me, and cover yourself in charcoal. Uh, also, tonight is the talent show, so if you have an act... Whoa, whoa, right here! Tell you your talent, just go! Oh, oh, what? Kids, kids, I gotta tell you something. Relax, everyone's all right. Let me just tell you what happened. Bug Seven had a fire. <laughs> things, I've got other things, many things to do. 